Hello everyone. Um, today is uh, Friday 7-15, July 15th, 2022nd. I wanted to um, review a couple of trades I made today uh, and also the setups. Basically the setups uh, more, more than the trades actually. Um, I'm going to start with uh, with uh, gold today. Uh, gold has been very choppy uh, in the... Um, let me expand this a little bit so it's choppy but it's also going down right um, if you see uh, here the anchor chart uh, which is the uh, Unibrenco size 8 let me show it to you right here so I'm using 8 20 and uh, 40 so this is the setup for the for the anchor chart Renko uh, for gold um, so uh, basically um if we compress this a little bit you will see that uh, that uh, uh gold is in in a downside today actually uh before the market opened uh, it was a mark in a range and it's moving in the range um uh during the during the session so you know moving up and down up and down it's kind of like uh like uh going going uh, sideways um so let me go back here and show you what i have so basically i i did open uh let me open the trigger chart now and i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and show you also the settings for the entry chart which is which is 4 uh, 10 and 20. okay that is the unirenco um setup on that one so you know uh it it was uh, uh let me let me put it uh market opens actually at 820 so i'm gonna um show you why i mark this one as a range day um so right here is 8 820 something like that so we do have um i'm sorry 820 i moved it right there so that is my range um, from yesterday uh, for, from the opening right there. So, uh, you know, the, the market was opening uh, in this area or was, uh, you know, behaving in this area, moved already down and then it started to move sideways. I marked this one as my um, a range for the day. So again, uh, this one is a... Um, this one is a um, um, Fibonacci retracement chart. You see here, I, I got it at 40%. And then I have these levels here. You can copy them if you want. So I put it as a, as a, res, as a um, um, template. Uh, and then that is how I, I uh, define my upper levels and the lower levels. Now, um, I thought that this one was going to go uh, down um, and probably, so the idea on these ranges is that you should, you know, buy in this area and sell in this red area. So if it's moving there, that is what you want to see, right? Um, but it, sometimes I I see a, a set a setup and uh, I don't I don't do it the way it should. But so I I put a short um, a trade right here, and the, and then I was. Um, I was uh, stopped out uh, for maximum loss in this case because uh, my idea is that I, I would uh, sell if it reverses. So I enter it here at uh, 1697.70. Right there, um, and uh, and then immediately move to the other side, and uh, and and this one is a counter trend uh, based on the uh, moving averages, but it's not, uh, so it it didn't continue the trend, so that's why it stopped me. So then I it went down. I was expecting this one to move below here, but immediately reacted to the other side. Um, so entries here, um, 
so other than that i don't have i didn't execute any but there there is some entries that are are potentially good here um, right here and all of them are reversals and that 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 is the idea of this uh of these ranges so it in in here you have it over uh over bought and this uh, below here you have it oversold so that's why um that's why i marked uh, i i i i marked it there so it it's in a range it uh, probably stay out of that one the first uh, uh trade was uh for um the first trade was for 440 dollars so two contracts at 220 each maximum loss uh, that that was the one okay let's uh review now uh uh, uh crude in crude there are some um some good trades uh, in here and and some not that good as well so here you see that uh, crude is moving um, also in a range um, right there before the market opened but moved to the uh, to the um, to the upper side right here right um, so um, so and then it started to range and it's ranging now in the in the 98 uh, 50 area uh, in between 98 76 and 98 97 uh, 73 now the the um, sizes of the Renko bars are the same for crude and and uh, if, if for gold and crude so I'm not going to show that uh, that now um so trades in 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 this one here so you will see that um you will see that um uh, where did you go let me let me open it a little bit more uh, to show you the trades right there so a uh, market went and hit the the uh, the, the uh, upper side of this uh, of this range it's oversold now and then it started to move below the, the moving averages so the first uh, the trade i took uh, trade i took was uh, this this entry here and uh, the first one was um, um, also stopped out i entered it right there when it was broken breaking this uh, a, a double uh, bottom here but it I, I knew that it was kind of kind of kind of a little bit premature to take it because it's uh, you know it's uh, now it's consolidating it's uh, moving sideways uh, it stalked me out for the two contracts uh, so I entered it at uh, 80 9802 and then I was stopped out at 9820 and that one was uh, $360 uh, down so in between that one in gold I was uh, $800 down in there now i took this uh and this uh, uh new break right here uh so uh there was a level rare uh there you know um indicated by this uh, low here that by this pivot and this pivot here and so i took it right there uh, let me see if i can mark it um with my tool right there yeah okay so here you see there uh, is the entry and uh, the the pivots that i was showing that i was showing was this one and this one so two pivots there potential break and then i took that uh, that trade and uh, and uh, that one was good for um uh for uh, Two hundred dollars, two hundred and twenty dollars in between the two of them. But the first one was uh, two hundred dollars uh, for the first stop. Now that one was below this moving average. So when I took it there, I saw that this uh, this one is the. Um, the uh 200 moving average it was very close to it uh, and and so it, there was i i was uh, thinking that there could be a, a a reaction there and it actually did it came back up and and then it stopped on it stopped me on the second um on the second uh uh contract so that one was um um 200 dollars for the first one and 20 dollars for the second one now um it came back up um and then and then you know it started again in the consolidation that would be a loss i didn't take it it's already in the it's it's in the cloud so i didn't take that one this second one i didn't take it i wait for the, this one to break 
on on this uh, support as well so um i took it right there um let's see if you can see it right there and then the first stop came also or the first uh, target came out uh, for 200 dollars uh, and the second one was uh, uh, stopped out right there for another um, another twenty dollars, so two hundred and twenty dollars for that one as well. Um, so at, at this point, I'm a little bit recovered uh, for uh, the initial loss uh, in there. I'm still under under the water, but I'm 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 feeling a little bit better now. Uh, there is now another break right here. If you see um, that that entry uh, right there um let's see this in this entry right there uh it's a it's a, a breakout as well and this one was given by this uh, double bottom right here so you see that there's a double bottom and it's marked as db right there but it's uh, actually there are three points this one this one this one which reacted came back to the moving averages may break down the initial uh, more riskier uh, trade would have been entering there but you know don't know if you're going to to um, uh, move um, sideways and keep uh, consolidating there. So I wait for the, the break to happen, and then there's uh, two targets uh, moving down now. So this is the entry, and this is the $200 first target, and this is the uh, $400 extra, um, so second target at uh, $400. So that one is uh, $600 in between the two trades, and that is what I trade today in uh, in um, uh, e in uh, crude. So uh, crude has uh, I did uh, um, uh, crude uh, for um, let's see um, I'm looking at my other screen actually. So for um, four trades for six hundred and eighty dollars in crude. Okay, so in between crude and gold, now I'm at $240 uh, positive now. Okay, so let's... Um so if you see here, what what I was expecting um, uh, crude to do is to come back to this gray area, right? So let's see where we are with that. Um, not doing a really good job uh, doing that, but uh, so it moved to the to the upper side of this initial ra range, and. Uh, and it's moving sideways there. No, so I'm I'm not. Uh, I my expectation was is that this one would break. Probably it's gonna do it in, the, in during the afternoon. Not sure. If you see the uh, thirty minutes chart, let me put it here. So this is my thirty minutes chart. You know, it's bullish. You know, the, today it's, uh, you know, bullish, but it's messy right here. So if it comes back and then tries to, um, you know, break break down and, and go to the 50, which makes sense, um, then I would probably look look for it during the afternoon to see if, if that would happen. Okay. Let me, I'm fixing the uh, this... Uh, chart in my other screen okay so um all right so you see that it's, it's moving down um uh, tempting but it's still a, a counter trend um we yeah we, we'll see how it behaves in the next uh, several minutes um or during the afternoon okay so let's uh check uh in es now there's an uh, one trade i made in es es uh, what is is behaving very bullish i i did uh, uh this one is the same size of uh, bricks that i use uh, the, the 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 risk and the target is are a little bit uh, uh larger because uh, each tick is 12 dollars and 50 cents instead of uh 10 dollars in the in in crude and gold but you see here that it's more Moving uh, to the upside. Uh, if you see this tool that I'm using here, it, it is the um, the uh, Fibonacci extension. Then you see that there are some levels that I have here. So let me let me check where is that. Okay. 
So here you see that those are dots, that one, that one, that one there. So I, I, I painted this one to the high in, into the down and then and then with that it, it gives me some levels. So what I'm actually looking for in here are a, it's a measure move. So that would be probably today's target for me. Um, and um, in, 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 uh, you know, I, I believe that it could go bullish. However, we do have here, uh, this one is actually 3981. So I'm, I'm sorry, 3881. Let, let me expand it here a little bit. So we see it better. Uh, 3851 so that would be the uh, measure move from uh, this uh, tool right here all the way to 100 there so and, and it's bullish it's moving to the upside still uh, I'm not in it now but uh, I entered one trade and so let me show it to you um, one thing that uh, that uh, uh, you need to be cautious of is that uh, you know it's uh, there is a let me put uh, this uh, here so it's in the upper side of this uh, of this uh, um, resistance right so uh, that would have been a good entry i didn't take it but i took this one here before that so let me uh, open it so you can see it. so there, there there are some good entries here that you could consider so this one here would have been probably a little bit premature because of uh, only one one um uh, one pivot right there right so uh, that one was the uh opening uh for the session and then came back down mark the uh, close for uh, i mean the uh 30 minutes and then moved up and then broke there um and then came back down that one would have been a uh, potential good entry as well but this one is a pivot it's negating that one there so then moving down 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 and now it start it started to threaten again the uh, opening range so that is where I took the trade and very cautious, cautiously I I was monitoring my my uh, <laughs> the the um, lower um, lower time frame or, or lower uh, frame uh, in the um, in the four to let me show you that um, so I do have another another chart where I um, you know look at the small chart. Um, I don't be, with the, with the, um, with prices going um, now at at hundred dollars. I'm I'm sorry at uh, at. Um, uh, 30 uh, at, you know with the volatility I don't use that this one as entry but I use the this unit Renko just to to look at it to see uh, what is the uh, what is the you know smaller time uh, smaller uh, reaction in here okay so I was I was monitoring this and um, I was monitoring this and you see that uh, that uh, so so it when when it went and bro broke there moved to the upside I sold it right right here okay so in this area it uh, it broke to the upside and then I just you know put the stop very close to 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 there using this uh, um, this um, uh, Renko uh, size small bars I called it. Okay, so um, it, it went all the way up here, hit the the first uh, um, two hundred, uh, the, the first uh, a target. Uh, this one is actually. Let me check out. So the first uh, target is uh, is actually two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, uh, two hundred and fifty dollars uh, for that um, for that one, and then the second one I just uh, you know just sold it right there, and that one was for uh, a, for the difference, uh, which is one hundred and seventy five dollars. Okay, so four hundred and twenty-five dollars for uh, this trade here, and you know what? I I don't trust. I mean, I'm still bearish in uh, 
in uh, ES. Uh, so I don't trust this uh, move to the upside. And then I, I believe that, that at any moment, uh, this one come, can come back and, uh, you know, or, or start uh, chopping in this area. If it, if it comes back, that, that's not a problem. If it, if it starts chopping, then I could be chopped out very badly. Um, so, yeah, so those are the um, six trades I made uh, today. Uh, I'm going to monitoring and, and, and see if I can do, I, I can make a little bit more money uh, during the the uh, afternoon session. It's a Friday, so it could be very choppy. Um, it doesn't look like a, like the, the market wants to move uh, that much anymore during the day but uh, we'll see um uh all, all overall uh 600 and um 665 uh dollars for the day um not great but uh, not bad either so i'm grateful i wanted to thank you for uh the comments and encourage encouraging me to uh, keep posting video most most of the time i, I don't and uh, hopefully this uh you you like it if you do uh, please subscribe and and uh and also hit the like button that would help uh, me to get a little bit more volume in the in the people who sees these uh, videos all right uh thank you so much for watching and um see you next time